Hello everyone, welcome back to our glorious Shakonian Empire in Civilization 5. We're getting ready to uh, spread our empire um, around the world, uh, establish new colonies, and for that we need a bigger fleet. I've been talking about this for uh, quite some time, but we had to build the Citadel first, and we finished it, uh, and now we have even better technology. And I'm wondering if we're actually going to be able to get uh, crossbowmen then. We'll see. I guess we'll see if we can upgrade our archers to crossbowmen. I think so. But yeah, we're gonna find out. Now I'm, uh, yeah, I'm interested in building these Romans here. Definitely, definitely. And yeah, it seems as though we are able to upgrade these guys because uh, we can only build crossbowmen. We cannot build uh, regular bowmen anymore. So uh, here's one question: um, gain extra production when building land units. Um, we might build a forge or oh, a moon door. What's this? Um, we gain happiness, culture, and defense for the city. Espionage rate, 3 happiness, and 5 city defense provides a... Ah, oh, I want to build that wonder. I just want to build wonders here because we have such a wonderful city. Um, I don't know if we really should. We kind of need to focus on... You know what? No. I want to build wonders because wonders are unique. But you know what, what we're going to do? We're going to purchase. We're going to purchase a couple of things. We're going to purchase a ship. Certainly. Yeah. Even though it's very expensive, I feel like... We should definitely do that. All right, so we've built this. We've purchased a second ship. That's pretty cool, and we can immediately promote this ship. Now, uh, this one I actually want to call the Arbor Red. Now, we have um, actually the, the story about this is um, the Admiral of the Arbor Red. His name is Ragnar the Red, and he is the son of Harold the Brutal. And um, we're gonna actually go for naval as well, and we're again gonna go for middle mobility because I want to have uh, quick ships. Now, um, Harold the Brutal, who's currently right here, um, he has a son. Uh, n not only one son, but uh, his, I think, second son. I think Ragnar is his second son. And um, he uh, wants to be an admiral, so uh, he's, been, he's been born in Pentos during the war, I guess, after we've taken over Pentos. And um, he now wants to serve... Uh, the Empire, which is great. So, um, he's a very young lad, but I'm sure that he'll be able to, uh, well, um, to, uh, help us out and, and be a good admiral. But yeah, uh, we need another production in Flaming Peak. I see. I see indeed. Now, yet, I am a little bit confused as to... Okay, we have two bowmen being built right there. Um, right... I don't exactly know what we are, what we need right now. So I think a worker might be useful. Although maybe we have too many workers, I can't even tell. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna go just for a workshop right now because I honestly don't know. Uh, the food is stagnating right now in Flaming Peak, which is not really a big surprise. Um, but oh well. Uh, here we have another worker who I forgot wh where he was going to. It was not Sunhold. Sunhold is stagnating, which is fine. We have... Actually, we only have 13 citizens. It's not that much. Actually, it's not st stagnating. Right, but we have plenty of things that they could work at, at, right? I mean, you could work... I guess we should uh, build something right there with this worker. And where were I sending him? I don't even, I don't even remember what I was doing with him. So... Hmm, where should this guy go? You know what, I actually, I'm thinking about just building, building the road to the arbor. Uh, I think that's necessary, so let's do that. I don't, I don't remember where he was going. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, another unit needs orders. Okay, so those are my invulnerables here. So, Roderick, go forward, and perhaps Johnny Crapper can now deal with these. He can indeed, yeah, crush these archers. Look at him. Take a little bit of damage, but look how they cut through these archers. They're so lightly armored. Awesome. Great. Great. Uh, he took hardly any damage at all, and then we're gonna have to deal with these whites. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna attack them from two sides, basically. It's gonna be good. Okay. And Taldak Fen, we're gonna move you forward as well. And we should also move forward our settlers. Now I don't really like that my settlers are the the ones on in the front, I guess, but. That's not too bad. Uh, let's get the Sea Wing to uh, help out and protect these settlers. 
definitely need to do that. At least a little bit. Um, and Matthew, I think you're gonna fortify for now. It's such a shame we can't walk through the veil, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Alright, there's Sharp Point. We gotta be careful. Um, actually, Sharp Point... No, they might actually take away some of our promises. We're gonna have to see where we build this new city. Uh, it could be a coastal city, I guess. I mean, there's pearls here. There's a lot of pearls here, actually, but we don't need pearls anymore. Um, I'm not sure. There's iron right there. I probably want to build them next, yeah, well, on this hill, next to the mountains. Um, although that's that's very close to Sharp Point. I'm not entirely sure where I want to actually build this just now. Okay, Titanic, you're going to have to explore some more things. There's still so much more to explore. I'm just amazed by this. Alright, so now we're over here, and these whites are closing in around Martin Storm, and the problem is... This is a real problem, a real pain in the ass, actually. We don't really have much we can do. Um, you know what, I think we're just gonna have to go for it, attacking these guys right now. We need to deal damage. Luckily, we have our general here, who helps us out. But I think they could easily crush Martin Storm, so we're gonna have to send him back. Uh, although I don't like it that much. These whites are just too powerful. I think we might even need more units there to deal with these whites. Um, okay, Louis Sunblade. Um, okay, so we have Louis Sunblade. I think you are just going to fortify in Flaming Peak for now. Taldak then, you're going to arrive with the Settlers and Lowell Marston and the Sea Wing. Okay, that's one group. Hmm. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Uh, keeping track of all of my units because we're building so many at the time. I think once everyone has been distributed, uh, I'm gonna have a look at this closely. Uh, but for now, it's a little bit confusing and uh, I don't exactly know what's going on. And there's still more units who need to do things. Okay, yeah, Grey Fang, you definitely need to heal up. Definitely. Okay, uh, other units. Right, these settlers. Yeah, we're gonna send you forward as well. Yeah, you're gonna. Well, you're gonna actually have protection of that drone one, so that's good. You're not gonna be alone. And, yeah, I've, I've decided I want to build the Moon Door. Yep. Dragon Hall is just going to be a wonderful city. Awesome. And I guess we can build a farm here to help out the city. Gadath no longer needs my help. That's fine. That's fine. I don't really care. Oh, so there they go. I knew it. I know these whites. They would ravage through these guys. But, wow. Um, Martin Storm has, has done quite well to defend himself. I'm, I'm happy. Very glad. Alright, let's get our settlers forward. And let's send um, the Arborite right afterwards to protect these guys. Good. So definitely the extra mobility is very useful. Um, and you worker, yeah, I want you to start building a road to the Arbor just to connect our empire. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do as well. Although, I might want you to build a lumber mill here as well. Yeah, actually, that's what we're going to do. Go over here. Um, right, in this case, hmm, maybe actually I'm going to go build that one first. No, let's go to, let's go over here. Yeah. Um, you need orders, right. I want you to come close. And Johnny Crapper, you're going to take care of them. He's actually taking more damage. These whites are so strong. We need long swordsmen, that's that's for sure. Yeah, he's actually taking more damage. Wow. Even though we are flanking him. Even though we have a flanking bonus of 10%. Uh, they're just fortified. Yeah, they have a 40% fortification bonus. That's ridiculous. Wow. Alright, guys. Well, Tadak then, I want you to go forward. My own ship is guarding your southern flank, I guess. Yeah, it's much faster too. Lowell Marston trailing behind. And we're actually going to make... We're actually a little bit... Yeah, two, two words in the uh, south. So where do we want to land? There's sheep, which I guess is good. But we also have bison here, which is food. And we have deer. I think this might be a better spot than this. And this is a hill. This is grassland hill next to a mountain. And then we have these two tiles right next to it. This might be the best um, way to go. Um, yeah, I, I think. 
I guess we're gonna have to explore this first before we can really make a decision where to settle. Alright, well, another unit needs orders, so let's get our settlers over quickly, um, just so we can settle the city and help out our troops, really. Okay, Titanic still over here. Wow, look how much there is to explore. This is amazing. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to leave this unexplored, though, if we get to uh, go through here. Okay, our archers. Um, I want you to... I don't want to know what I want you to do. I guess I want the Blood Riders. I guess I want you to shoot at these guys. And I think the Blood Riders can now finish them off. There we go. And <clears throat> I'm gonna send the Blood Riders back now. Because I think you can take a second shot from these whites. Not, I'm not sure, but I think you can. Especially with our general here, Christopher, guiding you. Alright, move these settlers forward. And that seems to be the next turn. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see. If it actually is, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, these swordsmen we're gonna send. Who is it exactly? This is Toby's Lions. Toby's Lions swordsmen. Okay, we're gonna send them forward as well. And look at this. There's more pearls that we can actually... We can't even work them. We have reached them, but you can't work them, unfortunately. That's too bad. Ah, alright. That's fine, I guess. And I don't think we need this extra gold. I only wanted him right. I, I think, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put him here. I think that provides even more gold. Um, you will stick here. So now we're working this, well, customs house, I guess. Um, okay, Brutal Harry, you're, you're definitely gonna have to fortify. And uh, Toby's Lines, I wanna send you forward as well. You're gonna protect our settlers in the corpse jungle. At least I hope so. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna be the ones to build the moon door, not the veil. I mean, that's obviously possible that they do it first. We only have two more turns of the golden age. And, ow, there goes... Come on. Hold, hold, hold it. Yes! He is... Wow, he is so damaged. Holy shit. Look at him. Look at Martin Storm. He is just doing so well. Alright, what we're gonna do it though, uh, we're gonna have to send you back. You're gonna have to heal up. And also, our uh, Blood Riders, you're gonna have to heal up as well. Now, uh, we have just built a new unit, and as I said, this is uh, Matt Cooper, who has been the long term uh, Castellan of Sunhold, but now I'm actually gonna give him uh, this unit as well, and he's probably gonna stay in Sunhold for now, um, and just, well, gonna take care of the city. So I wanted you to fight in rough terrain, yes. Because uh, that's mostly hills right here, and you are able to build something new. So I think for now we're gonna we're gonna have wait for a little bit because I don't know if I really need any more troops. So we're gonna build a university here, um, sponsored by the crown, and you will build a lumber mill, three food, but oh, three food. This is for is grasslands. You know what? Honestly. In grasslands, I think it's more important to build food. Honestly, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna build lumber mills. Well, this is also grasslands. This is all grasslands. This one, yeah, this one was was forest and plains. So I think I yeah I, I rather want to build food in grasslands. Um, oh my God, there's just another undead swordsman. Okay, things are actually looking quite dire right now. All right, so we're gonna have to fortify our troops. But these white walkers are. Uh, just we need help we need Murrah's help or we need to send someone else over here as well Jesus perhaps we're gonna have to send in a laden yeah I I see no other choice but to send in a laden man Murrah's not gonna help us unfortunately and this walker have you built your road he has indeed all right so let's go forward and build that I don't know what is this this is this is planes. So either food or gold. I think neither. And in, in fact, a route, I think you want to build a road all the way 
here. Yeah, just build that road for now. That's fine. Okay, Taldak then, go forward. Our settlers as well. Make the move forward slowly. Lowell Marston, right behind it. And Matthew Storm has finished. Now, I think what we're going to do, we're going to send him south a little bit, just to scout this area. Maybe see what's over here, and then I think I want to send him to Ergoroth to hopefully find out what's uh, what this is all about. Okay, our settlers are making their way over very slowly. I can't wait for them to actually arrive, because we need them. We need that city. Okay, we might even find a passage here. Oh, what's this? Robstag! Lord Rob of the North. Well, how come I find you in the South, Rob? That's a good question. Well, who I'm? Who might I be? I'm the king. Again, the king of the Draconian Empire. So let's see. Where is Winterfell? Will you accept our embassy? I wonder why does he have why? Oh my God, he's losing 40 gold per turn. Well, Rob Stark, um, I'm glad that you will accept our embassy. Where is Winterfell? Oh, there it is. Look at Winterfell. Yeah, he has founded the Old God's religion. Look at Winterfell, that looks amazing and manufactured, but that one has been pillaged. At least, at least it seems like it. But Winterfell definitely looks very powerful. Now let's compare the capitals to, well, I guess, Dragonstone. We can't really see much. Uh, but let's compare Winterfell, at least, to, to Dragonhall, uh, if, if we want to. It, it, honestly, I have to, I have to admit that because of this forest that is well, not being worked by us, it, it seems as though Winterfell is just, well, much more productive than Dragonhall. But we have 20, 20 people, he has only 13, so I don't know. Whatever, um, this is a northern tree range, so it's not a, a on that one, good. They're all over here. Okay, I think, I think we're actually going to be able to get around here, yeah. Very cool indeed. Sea wing, my own ship. Let's get them a little bit closer. Um, all right, and you settlers need to go north as well. And uh, the arbor red, I'm gonna send you forward. Awesome. So we still have the channel being protected by the needlefish. That's good. I want that to be the case. And uh, Toby's lions, we're gonna send you out as well. Man. Okay, uh, Matt Cooper. Yeah, as I said, I think I want you to just fortify Sunhold. It, I think that's important. Uh, the, especially the Marble Bank um, is very important, so fortify that. We're making so... Well, we have so much money saved up, so I guess we are able to just build a, a new ship if we want to. Okay, so we'll... Joyfully the to the breeze, Royal Odysseus spread his sail, and okay. with his rudder, skillfully he steered. Okay, uh, that was, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, boop, 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 that was uh, a little bit crazy. Anyways, we have now researched astronomy, which is huge, because we can build a new ship type, which we will do, uh, we can upgrade our dragons, and we can build an observatory as well as faster embarked movement, which is good. So, let's continue forward, we have now entered the uh, Seven Kingdoms Age, which is good. Um, so, oh, we've even recruited a new spy, all right. We're gonna have to give that one a name, but we'll do that later. For now, my Golden Age has unfortunately ended. Ah, so that's okay, though, that's okay. Um, okay, we're no longer friends with Gadath. Well, that's, that's okay. I think what we wanna research next is definitely, definitely the Long Swordsman. We need Stronger Swordsman, otherwise we will, uh, will get killed uh, so yeah I guess also mm, banking would be useful the Iron Throne custom house gold trading post but no we're gonna build the, the, the steel now and then we're gonna go for physics and and then we're gonna go for bent banking and then mentoring that's I think the way we're gonna go um, yeah so we have a new spy I'm not gonna bother about that spy just now we're actually gonna go Explore some more things here. Uh, let's actually just go forward, I should say. And the Sea Wing as well. And Christopher. No, that's not Christopher, that's Lowell Marston. Christopher's over here. Wow. Fighting the White Walkers. Come on. Where are our settlers? 
Ah, they still need so long to get over here. It's ridiculous. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, this seems to be the end of this episode. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time. It's Chief Chanka, signing off.